Jamie Friend. Good evening. Thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. I was able to view the March committee meetings online and I'm a bit concerned about the hiring of two assistant part-time principals when we are declining enrollment district and have a huge budget crisis on our hands. My confusion stems from the origin of this idea and it seems to have just appeared from thin air. My concerns are many. First, is this a need that has been brought forth by the building principals? And if not, why not? Aren't the building principals the best gauge of what is needed in their schools? Second, several members of this board pride themselves on being fiscally conservative. And while I apply your efforts to carefully distribute our tax dollars for programs, staff, and general operations, doesn't it seem a bit contradictory to hire two additional administrators if they are truly not needed? We now have 10% fewer students in the district and many fewer teachers than we did just four years ago. Did we have assistant principals back then? And in December, you predicted another 10% decrease in student enrollment over the next four years. Third, there was a statement made that the two assistant principals would already be in place when our current principals decide to retire. Although your comments of not wanting the principals to leave because you love them so much seemed like a kind gesture, I took them as insincere and underhanded. The message you are sending to the people who hold our schools together is one of disrespect and little value. If these principals have just signed new contracts for next year, why are we hiring assistants? It is disheartening to observe what is happening in this district, and it is quite apparent that the staff members in our schools are too afraid to speak their minds, offer their opinions, or share their experiences because of the probable repercussions. I apologize for needing to leave at this time, but I have two ill children at home, and I will not be able to stay to hear your discussion on this issue. I can only hope that you will slow down a bit before making this decision and the true experts in our schools, the principals and teachers. 